Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 22nd November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has pulled up alleged con man Sukesh Chandrasekhar for filing multiple petitions before the Supreme Court in a short span of time. It has observed that affordability of litigant is no reason for them to file multiple petitions before the court. The court while reprimanding Bihar government for allowing persons without necessary qualifications to discharge functions of pharmacists in state run hospitals has instructed the state to ensure that not a single hospital in the entire state distributes medicines without the help of registered pharmacists The Chief Justice of India DY Chandrachud has stated that special benches will be set up from next week in the Supreme Court for hearing tax matters. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has held that inclusion of materials in additional charge sheet that are subsequent to filing of initial final report is legally permissible as long as evidence collected and subsequent events point towards commission of crime for which the report has been filed the high court has upheld magistrate court's order granting an amount of rupees 31 lakh 68000 as maintenance to a divorced woman under section 3 of the muslim women protection of rights on divorce act 1986 as parties hail from financially strong backgrounds and have a very high standard of living news highlights from high courts in other parts of the country The Madras High Court observed that even if in order to punish accused of offence under section 4 of the Tamil Nadu Prohibition of Harassment of Women Act occurrence must have occurred in a public place still harassment of a woman is an offence and accused can be punished under section 354 of the IPC The Gujarat High Court while observing that denial of medical treatment to the petitioners who are not domiciles of Gujarat is illegal has declared unconstitutional state government's policy giving priority to persons domiciled in Gujarat for the purpose of cadaveric organ transplant. The Bombay High Court has pulled up the National Highway Authority of India for not taking seriously the issue of bad condition of a section of the National Highway 66 and has directed the NHAI to fill all potholes on the Panvel to Indapur stretch of the NH66 and file compliance affidavit by December 23. Other news highlights in the country. Commercial Court Mansa has restrained the record label Merchant Records Private Limited and its directors Salim Merchant and Suleiman Merchant from releasing or publishing Sidhu Moosewala's song Jandi War and held that singer's parents hold the copyright after his death. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.